Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to learn how we can connect a BAP system or, or our S4HANA system or ECC system with Visual Studio Code. So the very first thing that in your system Visual Studio Code should be present. For this purpose, we need to download and install the Visual Studio Code. So go to the Google Chrome and search for the Visual Studio Code download. Click here and you need to install this installer and then it will install your Visual Studio Code. All right. Once you are able to install, open your Visual Studio and there you need to install the extensions. How you can install the extension? You need to click on this button extensions button and here search in the search bar with ABAP. Once you search with ABAP, you will find ABAP syntax highlighting, ABAP remote file system, ABAP snippets, ABAP CDS language support. These four different add-ons you will find it over here. So ABAP syntax highlighting and ABAP remote file system, ABAP snippets and this we are going to install. This is mandatory ABAP remote file system in order to connect with the system, right? But for syntax and ABAP snippets and CDS uh, and this uh, uh, advanced ABAP also, maybe if you want, you can install or whatever re relevant you find, you can install. But this ABAP remote file system is mandatory. Once you install this one, click on this and then click on the settings and go to the settings. Again, click on this edit in settings.json. Okay, this nice JSON template will come. Here you will have to provide all the system information like system URL with which you want to connect. How you will find the URL, I will let you know. In which format, basically you need to get it that quickly I will let you know. This should be the format. Just copy this one and paste it here. So your system name with you can give it over here so i have given my sap system okay by pankaj url this should be your url here how you can find the url i will quickly let you know let me connect uh, with my system and come here go to log into your system once you log into your sap system then you will have to go to the SICF transaction and on the service name you give ADT star press F8 here it should be activated if it is not active you need to right click and activate activate it right now just select this one right click and click on this test service once you click on this test service this particular URL will come you just copy till here you know this much you copy from HTTP to the port as we have done here right and just paste it so how to get the URL that part I told you username you have to give password you will have to give client and language right that's it allowed self-signed must be true and just save this one once you save and all this information is correct then you press F1 press F1 so that all the command here in the search will come and click on this ABAP FS connect to an ABAP system and you will see that it will start connecting with my SAP ABAP system so if everything is fine it will be automatically connected so you can just go and check so this is how you can connect with the system once you connect it click on this button and you will be able to see that all your you know packages will be loaded here at least uh, you will be able to see the local package right okay fine let's quickly create one program right click here and ABAP FS create object search for the program select this one give the program name ZPK test with vs code press enter vs 
code demo press enter and then here you will be able to see that it's opening it's creating the object and it's opening here it is coming and just give hello vs code so and the period at the last just save this one here you will see this button activate current object it will also do the pretty printer just save this one and it will automatically align your code and beautify your code along with activation so this is what another point over here you will not be able to execute your code in this uh, program you need to go and see in GUI once you create over here it will be available in GUI as well you need to go over there and uh, you need to run there so that is the problem but some benefit over here is like like you will be able to nicely code it over here you know the look and feel uh, will be nice you can enjoy coding thank you for watching this video have a nice day